everyone. Welcome back to Rebecca Reads. So today we're actually going to read one of my favorite stories when I was younger. This is a book that I used to read with my mom and my sister and it's a whole series of books by this author. So if you like this book, be sure to look in your local library for more of the series. All right, are you ready to see what today's book is called? All right, let's check it out. Today's book is Amelia Bedelia is for the Birds. This book is by Herman Parrish and pictures by Lynn Avril. All right, let's get started. Amelia Bedelia loved her swing set. She had loved it when she was a baby and she still loved it now that she was big. There she is on her swing set. Look, even the birds are watching. Every day when Amelia Bedelia got home from school, she raced outside and hopped on her swing. She swung back and forth 50 times. That's a lot of swinging. Then she slid down the slide five times. After that, she ran inside for a snack and did her homework. This was Amelia Bedelia's routine and it made her happy. One afternoon, Amelia Bedelia found a pile of sticks and leaves and grass on the top of her slide. Yuck, she said as she swept everything onto the ground. Who made this mess on my slide? She slid down the slide super fast and raced across the yard. Some birds began chirping loudly and fluttering around her head. They were not singing a happy song. Amelia Bedelia had a feeling the birds were mad at her. Amelia Bedelia ran into the kitchen. Look, Mom, she said, pointing out the window. Those birds are making a mess on my slide. They watched the birds pile more and more twigs and leaves and grass on top of the slide. Oh, how sweet, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. The robins are building a nest on your slide. They can't do that, said Amelia Bedelia. I use my slide every day. Well, I guess you could scare them away, said her mother, or you could let them build a nest and start a family. And Amelia Bedelia is thinking, slide plus nest equals family? You mean there will be baby birds? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Born in our backyard on my slide? She gobbled down her snack. I'm going to the yard, Mom, she said. Halt, young lady said her mother, your homework comes first. After homework, dinner, and the dishes, Amelia Bedelia finally went back outside. She felt really bad about wrecking the bird's nest. She gathered more twigs and leaves and grass to replace what she had tossed away. She got yarn, scraps of felt, and fluffy feathers from her arts and crafts box. She left little heaps of stuff at the bottom of her slide. Here you go, Mr. and Mrs. Robin. She called to the birds, here's a nest supply shop just for you. The next day, Amelia Bedelia woke up early. Birds were chirping and singing right outside her window. They had been up for hours working away. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia at breakfast. Look at their new nest. It reminds me of one of your art projects, sweetie, her mother said, smiling. Try these binoculars, said her father. They will make your bird's eye view even better. Let's see. The mother robin sat on the nest day and night in rain and shine. She sat there for almost two weeks. One day, Amelia Bedelia saw something new. Mom, she said, there are four tiny blue eggs. They are robin's egg blue, said her mother. Of course they are, said Amelia Bedelia. What other color would they be? And there they are, one, two, three, four. Finally, one day after school, Amelia Bedelia spotted the mother bird holding a worm in her beak. Her babies were peeping. Feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. The eggs had hatched. At dinner that night, Amelia Bedelia's father talked about a mess he had fixed at his job. Hey, Dad, 
said Amelia Bedelia. The next time someone at work opens a can of worms, bring some home for the robins. I don't think that's quite what her dad meant. The Robin family gave Amelia Bedelia a new routine. She watched them every morning before school and every afternoon when she got home. She saw the baby birds get bigger. She watched their feathers grow. She saw them leave the nest for the first time. One day, she watched them fly away. Amelia Bedelia was so sad. When you grow up, you will spread your wings and fly away too, said her father. We'll have an empty nest, just like Mr. and Mrs. Robin. Amelia Bedelia did not believe it, but she knew it might be true. Now Amelia Bedelia's mom's eyes were all watery, the way they were when she watched her favorite movies. <laughs> That's a long way off, sweetie, <laughs> her mom said. Amelia Bedelia waited a few days to make sure the robins were really gone. Then she climbed up her slide and carefully took the nest down. Amelia Bedelia took the nest to school to show her class. She told them about the robin family. That's amazing, said Miss Edwards, Amelia Bedelia's teacher. How did you find out so much about robins? A little birdie told me, said Amelia Bedelia. And look, you can see a robin right outside the school window going chirp, 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 chirp. The end. Oh, amazing. What a fun story. I think my favorite part was when Amelia Bedelia realized that even though she loved playing on the slide, that she could actually help out this Mama Robin by helping her to make a nest for the birds. Well, I guess there's only one thing left for us to do and that's sing our goodbye song. Thank you guys so much for joining me reading Amelia Bedelia today and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye. Thanks for stopping by to read a book. I'm so happy that you came to take a look. Reading can be fun and help us to explore. We use our imagination and so much more. I had so much fun getting to 